Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much, Sally, for joining me this morning uh, to chat about Pentecost. Now, are you excited? What are you guys doing this weekend to celebrate? Well, we will be baking some loaves of bread. That's probably the biggest thing we do, <laughs> uh, as well as talking about the Word of God. And So when we first started celebrating Pentecost, we didn't really know what to do. So we looked in the Bible and um, we wanted to see how the Old Testament was fulfilled through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And so um, we're looking in Leviticus 23. There ain't a great lot of information, let me tell you. But one thing they do tell, one thing that is instructed is to make these two loaves of bread, which are huge, Cass, like each loaf. 16 cups of flour but that's what they're instructed to so it's bounty it's also that we're totally dependent on god these loaves of bread remind us we're totally dependent on his sustaining us um you know when the on the day of pentecost in acts they would have been prepared they would have prepared their loaves these loaves to say we rely on you god to sustain us and you might remember at the end of Luke, God had said, uh, Jesus had said to the disciples, wait here until you receive the power to do what I've asked you to do. And he gives them this power and it sustains him. And then, I mean, of course, with Peter just opens his mouth and this amazing conversation comes out. This is what we call his sermon. And like he has totally sustained them and carried them. Um, so yes, bread reminds us of who Jesus is. He says he's the bread of life, but it's also as we live in him and he sustains us through his Holy Spirit. Yeah. And Sal, would you mind just sharing with us about the significance of the two loaves? So uh, the two loaves to us, when we celebrate in lots of ways, but the two loaves to us remind us of the law written in stone and the law written in our hearts, the two covenants. They also remind us of the Jew and the Gentile coming together and Jesus uh, the Holy Spirit is given to both of us. Whoever relies on God receives the Holy Spirit. And I think that's beautiful. Well, that's something that's still evolving. I mean, we have had our whole family, you know, come an extended family. They're not necessarily Christians. They don't necessarily know about the Bible or even talk about it except at certain times of the year. So, it's a great time for us to show about the love of God and about what he, how he provides for us, how he sustains us. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us, Sal, and we're excited to make bread together. Yes, and please invite people, and it's an opportunity to tell them about who God is. Yeah. yeah.